Hey guys, and thank you for joining me on So Fancy. Today, I am going to be bringing you the New Walk restaurant. And this is going to be utilizing a lot of the items found in the Dine Out expansion pack. I was really excited about this pack from a previous video that I had made. And I really enjoyed the items. I had done a review as well. So if you want, you can check that out. But needless to say, the main part of Sims is just actually being able to utilize those items and just have fun with it. So I actually had gotten Dine Out probably about one minute after it released Eastern Standard Time since I'm in Pennsylvania, in the United States. And it really only took about five minutes to download. And I'm sure a lot of you Simmers also were really excited about this as well. So... I am probably going to talk a little bit about the dine out or what I had actually done a bit, but um, for the most part, this is going to be a restaurant and I wanted to, I think my inspiration came from being in Maryland and I went to Maryland um, a few times, like the beach area and I, you know, Maryland is full of like seafood buffets. I mean, most um, coastline tourism places do have a lot of seafood buffets. But what's really interesting, and I think even in South Carolina as well, is the seafood buffets. They're really large kind of immaculate buildings. And they have a very, I don't know, I mean, I guess the structure is very homelike. It's very simple, but you know it's a restaurant. And I, I don't know how really how to explain it, but usually these the bigger seafood buffets, um, there was one, I think, one is the one that's really popular is called Phillips Seafood. And I know I think that's like an East Coast thing, but Phillips Seafood has like this um, kind of like bigger home-like building. It almost, I... I I think in some areas it actually even closely would resemble maybe the Sims 3 or Sims 4 like uh, kind of German houses and um, or the German kind of style with the wooden the wood on the outside and and such and I sorry I wish I knew what that style was called but anyways so I went ahead and I wanted to make a really great restaurant that was going to be big enough but it was going to be luxurious, um, very elegant, very nice dining. And I spent a lot of time figuring out the structure to this because I wanted to make a really great entrance, but also make a really good back because that's the thing with the restaurants. At least I feel like in this, in this particular um, building um, is that you know, restaurants, you commonly see, you know, the front, but you don't really see the back. I mean, usually the back is like covered with trees or is somewhere that is facing, you know, some type of land or, or something like that. Um, maybe it's like a cement slab in the back or, you know, whatever the case, but you usually don't see the back of the restaurant. So it's kind of, it gets a little bit tricky, especially when we have these sim open lots because you're like, oh man, what do I do with the back and not make it just a flat, flat, um, you know, back side of the house. But anyways, so what I wanted to do is I know that in Maryland, Phillips Seafood Buffet, they have a really nice, um, you know, street view. And in the back, you can actually enter as well. And it has, you know, the outside, the back looks exactly like the inside. Oh, my gosh, I am so confused today. The back looks just as good as the entrance. So it's kind of a 360 design. So... I don't really know what the style is to this. I had played around a lot with the roofing and what I wanted to do. I kind of went into this thinking, okay, well, let me do something that um, is very similar to where banquets are held. You know, everything, especially like banquets or um, like where people have their receptions for marriage. And of course, that's not what I was going for. This is going to be just a regular restaurant. But I kind of was thinking along those lines, you know, a lot of lights, a lot of tables, 
that type of thing. So I kind of do did some small different designs to this that I haven't done in quite a while. Over to the left there, I had I had done this in Sims 3 a long time ago where you can put the walls and you can put the flowers between the walls and then put some lighting. And it really looks really nice when the lights, when it's nighttime or when the lights are off. And then I wanted to kind of do this, I kind of wound up doing this um, cathedral looking thing on the left. And I was like, well, that doesn't really go with it at all. It kind of is starting to resemble a church. So I kind of, um, you know, made them, uh, you know, oval at the top instead of them coming to a, a steeple or a peak. So I used a lot of oak, like dark woods for um, the windows. And then for the doors, I wanted to be able to see in. So I used just, you know, regular see-through doors. And um, I did a lot of gardening in this. So I'm going to be doing a lot of gardening. I think in all my videos, I, I do a lot of gardening. I think the florals, they add such a great touch which I don't need to say 500 million times. I feel like I'm constantly saying that. So I am really excited about the Dine Out pack, of course. I had time to play it a bit, and I think it's really cool. I think it's a really nice setup. I like that you can play either as you know your regular sim and do different positions, or you can you know just make a really awesome restaurant and go in and have a good time dining. And to be honest, I really love the fact of not owning one. I thought it was so cool to go in and just dine and have this really great experience and have myself really catered to. I didn't really have to do, be the chef or anything like that, but I think that would definitely come in the future. <laughs> um, you know, now that I can boost my cooking skills for a reason. So I pretty much stuck with green colors, brown, and um, maybe some wood. And we had gotten three, three different kind of panels for the walls. So I tried to incorporate them. I tried to incorporate a lot of the dine out pack that I could along with the regular stuff. I don't know why. It, I guess this was just like a... <laughs> the encore or something I don't know is that what's called the encore no that's <laughs> it's like after a concert <laughs> um but anyways <laughs> it was supposed to be utilizing my dine out pack um to its fullest but anyways I really just kind of played around with everything here you see my sims sitting there I actually like when I go in and build I know you can build and get particular items when you're just in build mode, you get all those, you know, items that you have to work so hard for in your sim. But I like being able to have a sim present when I build because sometimes you really have to watch out for those structural defaults or deep defaults, defects, where, you know, your your roof is in, you know, especially in the sims, the roof was horrible in the sims three because it couldn't go through the wall of the upstairs and then it was coming through your house and all this kind of thing. But in Sims 4, it's a little bit different. You can add the roof and it doesn't actually come through. The space is usable. So it's just little things like that that I like to keep a Sim around instead of having to constantly back out of the game. And I'm like, oh, is this going to work? Are they going to be able to play if they download it and that type of thing? So... I went ahead and I made this area the bar. This is pretty much you're going to walk in and then you're going to be presented by the host as soon as you walk in and then right towards the back you're going to see the bar. So the car, the bar can be somewhere where you can just hang out and get a drink. You don't have to sit formally or you can get drunk. Well, that's an option. <laughs> but... Um, you know, it's it's going to be an open layout, just like most of my most of my um, restaurants or uh, not my restaurants, my homes. I'm sorry. So I went ahead and I just added two lounge kind of um, booths all the way around, and these 
those um, tables, those would be for two different parties, although essentially I kind of just wanted it for one. I tried to go in and make a larger table to fit those two booths, but the game doesn't allow that. So it's just two um, different um, dining individuals. So I went ahead and I used these really nice lights, which is wall decor. And what's really nice about these really kind of large, obnoxious lights is it, they are cool. Visually, they are, they are unique and they're awesome to add to your um, restaurant. But and what's really awesome is that they come down when you take your walls down. And, you know, that's that's the best because that's... In Sims 3, once again, you know, there was a lot of things that got in the way. And it probably, in turn, made the game crash a lot because there was just so much um, stuff going in at once when you're trying to view something on your computer and it's, you know, all detailed and all that pixelated computer jargon. So this is the inside. I... I don't really know if there's really too much else that I had done to this. At initially, when you are in um, a non-build mode, when you're with a sim, you actually don't have access to the host or a waitress station, which you need to customize your restaurant name and such. So what I did is I just came back to that later and added a host table where the register was. And then I added the waitress cart later on. So I realized that I had to add a stairs because I wanted to make an upstairs lounge or maybe like a private dining area. I wanted to bring that darker black that I added on the outside and I wanted to bring that in just to complement the inside. So I made this upstairs with a balcony looking down, these great chandelier lights. Those are new with the dining pack. And then of course I made two bathrooms. The bathrooms, once again, I don't spend a lot of time on the bathrooms. They're just not my thing. <laughs> um, if you can, you know, make them better, go right ahead. So this up here, I wanted to make, I guess I was thinking uh, essentially of something private. So this is going to have your private table and maybe a private bar. And your Sims can overlook all the luxurious things on the bottom obviously not the cook but they can see what's going on downstairs so this small room is going to be the cooking station and I could have made this room bigger I guess essentially because we are dealing with a restaurant but the thing is is that the only thing that the chefs need is this cooking station so I didn't want to make it obnoxiously big Especially because you are, if you are actually playing the game, you're going to be wanting to focus on your actual customers and limited time being a chef. If, unless you are a chef, then you'll be at the working station. So I didn't make it really big. Maybe I'll do a, a luxury chef kitchen at some point, but I just wanted it to be really small. Um, once again, these these bathrooms, like I said, there are no frill bathrooms. I say that often. I did want to make kind of like a resting area in both bathrooms because I find that it's really convenient just in general personal life. <laughs> um, but it also makes the rooms look a lot roomier. And I didn't really put any type of color on each of the rooms as for male or female, it's up to you. I don't even think I went ahead and added a woman or male door in particular. So it's just two bathrooms. And I was surprised that we didn't get stalls. Um, I think I missed that from Sims 3 where you got the individual stalls. It just made the bathroom seem a lot better. So I guess we're just utilizing them. So this I wanted to give you guys a show. This is going to be the clothing you have the waitress and the chef, and this is the waiter, and then the host. And then I wanted to bring in some of the dine out. So here I am customizing the menu. The menu is going to have some wines. So it's going to have that red and white nectar blend, some coffee. And I had chosen the salty llama to have a liquor drink. The next thing on the menu is the appetizer. And I really wanted to keep this menu really simple because it's really fancy. And fancy menus are expensive, but there's not a lot. So you just see an option for a Caesar and a garden salad, which is pretty standard. 
For the main course, I didn't want to go too far out with the experimental food. I think the volcano pasta that I had just chosen was probably the most. I had chosen a salmon, lobster, pasta primavera, and steak, and even rack of lamb, which isn't that good in in real life. So I don't know if you guys are lamb eaters, but anyways, let's get on to dessert. So dessert, obviously, you're not going to see those pies or those cookies or donuts. So I wanted to do something a little more fancy for this menu. So we pick creme brulee and almond macaroons and some bread pudding and of course baked alaska who remembers the baked alaska i think it was from sims 2 it was like it was just like a fiery plate so this is the showcase and thanks a lot for joining me today guys you guys have a great one see ya